look at those who will be fronting the grid. Verstappen, Bottas and Lewis Hamilton. Well, that wraps up qualifying, but don't worry. We'll be back tomorrow as we head into the Grand Prix. Your qualifying pace didn't put you at the front of the grid. Will this be a problem tomorrow? There are rumours that you're looking for a contract. Great. Well, that's everything. Welcome to Melbourne. You can hear the roar of the crowd out there, which can only mean one thing. Race day is upon us. The Melbourne circuit is certainly one that needs to be taken seriously. Its combination of slippery surfaces and difficult corners make it a tricky track when it comes to overtakes. Drivers find it hard to pass and will need to take full advantage of those DRS zones if they want to have any hope of breaking through. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box and it's fantastic to have you with us here today, but I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, from the moment qualifying's over, you start to feel the adrenaline in your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as you anticipate the rundown into Turn 1. It's all a bit like going into battle, and the unknown situation makes you nervous. Those pre-race nerves are a good thing. The day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore. And of course, you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he starts from pole position. And it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Hamilton, Leclerc, Lando Norris and Gasly, Moore, Ricardo. Ocon and George Russell, Stroll, Schwartzman, Antonio Giovinazzi and Sainz, they've taken a grid penalty. Mick Schumacher, Sonoda, Sebastian Vettel, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. And Nicholas Latifi, Matsushita, they've taken a grid penalty. And Nikita Mazepin, it's almost time for those five red lights to go out. Okay, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down.
Top job, my friend, top job. I was a bit worried about this one at the start of the weekend, but you pulled through. Thank you. Brilliant stuff from Red Bull today. What a superb victory. Tell me, Ant, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? I think that smart tyre management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. That combination meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tyres at all times. The drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to every one of the team. the standings have changed. Despite the best efforts of our championship leader, that lead has taken a bit of a knock today. Some amazing talent out on the track today. But Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? I have to say Sebastian Vettel certainly caught my eye during today's race. Incredible driving. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. Red Bull pull further ahead in the standings. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time. Be sure to join us again as we continue to bring you the latest excitement in Formula One. Pretty happy with that. You and your teammate took the top two positions today. Is there a hint of jealousy in seeing your teammate up there on the podium? Or are you happy? Your teammate had a great race today and was rewarded with a podium. Do you have any comment? Sadly, you didn't quite match up to last year's performance here. Are you disappointed? Great. 
Well, that's everything. OK, we've had the new parts come through the fabrication process. We'll have them with us for the next Grand Prix.